Hello, everybody. You are on Code on Puffic channel. Today's topic will be the upcoming release of a new version of Python. 3.12. The release is planned as usual in October. And in this video, we will analyze the new features and the change in syntax using examples. Therefore, watch the video to the end, there will be a lot of interesting things. Before we start, please, give a like to this episode so more people can see it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episodes. Let's go! Improved Error Messages Modules from the standard library are now potentially suggested as part of the error messages displayed by the interpreter when a name error is raised to the top level. Improve the error suggestion for name error exceptions for instances. Now if a name error is raised in a method and the instance has an attribute that's exactly equal to the name in the exception, the suggestion will include self.name instead of the closest match in the method scope. Improve the syntax error error message when the user types import x from y instead of from y import x. Import error exceptions raised from failed from module import name statements now include suggestions for the value of name based on the available names in module. Syntactic formalization of f strings. Quote reuse. In Python 3.11, reusing the same quotes as the containing f string raises a syntax error. Forcing the user to either use other available quotes, like using double quotes or triple quotes if the f string uses single quotes. In Python 3.12, you can now do these things. Note that before this change there was no explicit limit in how f strings can be nested. But the fact that string quotes cannot be reused inside the expression component of f strings made it impossible to nest f strings arbitrarily. As now f strings can contain any valid Python expression inside expression components, it is now possible to nest f strings arbitrarily. Multi line expressions and comments in Python 3.11. F strings expressions must be defined in a single line even if outside F strings expressions could span multiple lines, like literal lists being defined over multiple lines, making them harder to read. In Python 3.12 you can now define expressions spanning multiple lines and include comments on them. Backslashes and Unicode characters before Python 3.12 f-string expressions couldn't contain any backslash character. This also affected Unicode escape sequences, as these contain the backslash plus n part, that previously could not be part of expression components of f-strings. As a positive side effect of how this feature has been implemented, by parsing f-strings with the peg parser, see PEP 617. Now error messages for f-strings are more precise and include the exact location of the error. Comprehension inlining Dictionary, list, and set comprehensions are now inline, rather than creating a new single-use function object for each execution of the comprehension. This speeds up execution of a comprehension by up to 2x. Comprehension iteration variables remain isolated, they don't overwrite a variable of the same name in the outer scope. This isolation is now maintained via stack slash locals manipulation, not via separate function scope. Inlining does result in a few visible behavior changes. There is no longer a separate frame for the comprehension in tracebacks, and tracing slash profiling no longer shows the comprehension as a function call. Calling locals inside a comprehension now includes variables from outside the comprehension, and no longer includes the synthetic point zero variable for the comprehension argument. And the last one is a comprehension iterating directly over locals may see runtime error, dictionary changed size during iteration, when run under tracing, for example code coverage measurement. To avoid the error, first create a list of keys to iterate over. Aper interpreter GIL 
Sub-interpreters may now be created with a unique GIL per interpreter. This allows Python programs to take full advantage of multiple CPU cores. Use the new PyNew interpreter from config function to create an interpreter with its own GIL. New features related to type hints. Typing chords in a function signature as introduced by PEP 484, allowed for valid annotations only in cases, where all of the chords were of the same type. This PEP specifies a more precise way of typing chords by relying on type dictionaries. A new decorator typing .override has been added to the typing module. It indicates to type checkers that the method is intended to override a method in a superclass. This allows type checkers to catch mistakes where a method that is intended to override something in a base class does not in fact do so. Generic classes and functions under PEP 484 were declared using a verbose syntax that left the scope of type parameters unclear and required explicit declarations of variants. In addition, the PEP introduces a new way to declare type aliases using the type statement, which creates an instance of type alias type. Thank you for watching. This was a very brief overview of the main changes. For more detailed information, I will leave a link to the official article in the video description. Put like. Write comments, are you waiting for the release of Python 3.12? Share videos with friends and on social networks, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new episodes. Take care, goodbye.